Hello, I'm Amanda, and today I'll be talking about our system called HEMAM, a software tiered memory management system that scales to large memory capacities and is optimized to perform well with real non volatile memory and the big data applications that use it. This is work I did together with other researchers at the University of Texas at Austin and Microsoft. Now that non volatile memory is commercially available, systems are starting to deploy it as additional main memory capacity. Indeed, NVM's high capacity, up to eight times the capacity of DRAM, make it particularly attractive to use this way. However, commercially available NVM also has some unique performance characteristics namely, that make it different, different from DRAM. Namely, it has up to two times the latency of DRAM. It has asymmetric, asymmetric read and write bandwidth, as well as higher overheads for small accesses. These characteristics mean that NVM is not gonna completely replace DRAM, but instead be deployed as a new tier of memory below small and fast DRAM and above large and slow storage. There are two broad categories for imp implementing tiered memory, the first of which is implementation in hardware. An example of this approach is Intel Optane Memory Mode. With this approach, applications do not see separate address ranges for DRAM or NVM, but rather a single large pool of memory. This approach has numerous benefits. First, it does not require operating system support. The hardware manages the tiered memory all by itself. Second, this approach has very low overhead. For example, Intel's memory mode manages memory at a cache line granularity and without having to manage page tables or maintain the TOB. However, this approach also has some drawbacks. Hardware systems have limited visibility into how applications are actually using their memory and are, are limited to simple techniques that can easily be implemented in hardware. For example, memory mode simply treats DRAM as a direct map cache for NVM. These drawbacks have led some to propose implementing tiered memory in software. In software-managed tiered memory, separate DRAM and NVM ranges are exposed, and a software layer, typically the operating system or a library, manages placement of application data between NVM and DRAM on its behalf. This approach has better visibility into how applications are using memory and can support more complex policies than the hardware's approach. However, previous systems, such as HeteroS and Nimble Page Management, were designed before NVM was commercially available and thus relied on emulation. As a result, these systems do not scale to actual NVM capacities due to their reliance on heavyweight techniques such as scanning page tables for access and dirty bits. These systems also do not take into account NVM's asymmetric bandwidth and have limited flexibility. So what's wrong with scanning page tables for access and dirty bits? Well, page table scans to determine which parts of applications are being accessed do not scale when you have terabytes of memory. To measure this, we, we, we evaluate how long it takes to scan page tables for various memory sizes when memory is mapped with base pages, huge pages, and gigabyte size pages. With base pages, scanning terabytes of memory takes on the order of full seconds. Page table scanning approaches also have overheads with maintaining the TLB, which must be shot down whenever access bits are cleared. To address these issues, we designed HEMIM. To attain scalability, HEMIM le leverages asynchrony. Namely, in this talk, I will talk about how HEMIM leverages asynchrony in memory access sampling using CPU performance counters and in migration of memory between tiers using DMA. Please see our paper for full details on our other design principles on data scalability awareness, our focus on AC asymmetric NVM bandwidth and flexibility. HEMIM samples memory accesses with PEPs a feature supported on mon modern Intel processors. PEB stands for Processor Event-Based Sampling. With PEBS, the processor records samples of load and store virtual memory address instructions to a predefined memory buffer. We set up PEBS to measure DRAM loads, NVM loads, and all stores instead of scanning page tables for access and dirty bits. We find that sampling just 0.02% of measurements provides us enough fidelity to distinguish frequently accessed data from infrequently accessed data. HEMIM uses PEBS to classify data as hot or cold using hot or cold page list for both DRAM and NVM. The CPU counters write PEBS samples to a buffer which a dedicated HEMIM PEBS thread reach from. The PEBS thread asynchronously accesses these samples in a batch to make inferences about application access patterns without having to scan page tables or shoot down the TLB. Using these samples, the PEBS thread classifies memory pages as either hot or cold by placing them into the appropriate hot or cold list. The PEPS thread, if the PEPS thread receives a lot of samples to a particular page, it may classify that page as hot, signified by moving that page from the hot list to from the cold list to the hot list. To maintain a fresh view of which pages are hot or cold, the PEPS thread will periodically cool pages by moving them from the hot list to the cold list. 
Once pages have been classified as hot or cold, a separate policy thread can migrate pages among memory tiers. Memory migration is also done asynchronously in batches. When it decides to migrate a batch of pages, the policy thread will first mark those pages as write protected. This allows reads to pages undergoing migration, but writes to these pages must wait until the migration has completed for correctness. Next, the policy thread sets up requests to the DMA engine to have the DMA perform migration. The DMA will copy memory in the background among memory tiers. Once the migration has completed, the write protection is removed from these pages and the application can resume as normal. Next, we move on to evaluation. To evaluate HEMIM, we run on a Cascade Lake machine with 24 cores, 192 gigabytes of DRAM, and 768 gigabytes of NVM. To fully leverage all memory channels, all DIMMs are fully populated. We compare HEMIM to Intel's hardware memory mode and Linux symbol tiered memory management proposed in ASHPLOS 2019. To measure how well each system identifies and keeps the hot set of applications in DRAM, we run the GUPS micro benchmark. GUPS performs parallel read, modify, write operations on a configurable size memory with a configurable number of threads. We modify GUPS so that a portion of this memory is hot and is accessed 90% of the time. In this experiment, we configure GUPS with 16 threads and a 512 gigabyte working set and then vary the size of the hot set. We measure the average throughput in GUPS across three runs after a warm-up phase to allow each system a chance to identify the hot set. This graph shows these results. On the y-axis is the average throughput in GUPS after that warm-up phase, and the x-axis shows the size of the hot set. We see that HEMIM, plotted on the top orange line, does a good job at identifying the hot set and placing it in DRAM, resulting in up to two times increase in thr throughput over the next best system, which is memory mode, plotted on that middle blue line. Memory mode suffers from conflict misses as a result of its simple direct map caching technique and cannot always keep the entire hot set in DRAM. Nimble, plotted on the bottom yellow line, suffers from its high overhead page table scanning approach and is unable to identify the hot set and has worse performance than simply keeping all memory in NVM, which is plotted on that green line. We will look at further overheads. At, we will take a further look at the overheads of page table scanning based approaches in a, in a second. Once the hot set no longer fits in DRAM on all, in our machine, signified by the vertical blue line, all systems see a drop in performance close to that of keeping all data in NVM. Next, we take a look at application benchmark performance. Here, we run the GAP-BS graph processing suite. We run the between decentrality algorithm on a graph with two to the 29 vertices, which does not fit into the DRAM on our evaluation machine. We run 16 iterations of this benchmark and measure the runtime of each run, choosing a different starting vertex each time. This graph shows the runtime of each iteration. On the x-axis is the iteration, and the y-axis is the runtime. Here again, we see that HEMIM, plotted on the bottom orange line, is able to recognize the hottest portion of the graph and make sure it is in DRAM. NVM, plotted on the middle yellow line, results in 1.3 times the runtime on average versus HEMIM, and memory mode on that blue line results in 1.6 times the average runtime. To further illustrate the advantage of our PEBS-based approach, we modify HEMIM to perform page table scans on a separate thread rather than read from the PEBS buffer to determine the hot set. In this configuration, HEMIM with asynchronous page table scanning plotted on this black line overestimates the hot set and attempts to migrate too much memory to DRAM, resulting in much higher overheads during the first few runs while migration is still occurring. Once the memory has been migrated, HEMIM with asynchronous page table scans has equivalent performance of HEMIM with PEBS. Finally, HEMIM's ability to accurately identify the hot set and keep it in DRAM results in up to 10 times fewer writes to NVM than the next best performing system, which helps with NVM wear. Please see our paper for lots more experiments and results. To summarize, commercially available NVM has introduced a new tier in the memory hierarchy. Tier memory management systems must scale to NVM capacities and support its unique performance features. HEMIM is a tiered memory management system designed for real NVM. It leverages a sampling-based approach to monitor application memory behavior and migrate memory between tiers asynchronously in the background. HEMIM is able to accurately distinguish hot data from cold data and results in better performance than other existing systems. Finally, HEMIM is open source and available on Bitbucket. Thank you.